there and welcome to another video from Hegarty Maths. It's Mr. Hegarty here and in this video it's the second video in which we're going to be talking about translations. So in the first video I showed you how to translate a shape. In this video uh, I'm going to show you how to describe a translation. Now remember for a translation it's a movement of a shape. Okay, and we use a vector, something like 3, negative 4, and that would mean 3 right and 4 down. So, uh, all we need to do really here is say the word translation and also describe the vector that does that translation for us. So, a typical question would be as follows. Describe the transformation of shape C to shape D. Now, because the shapes are exactly the same size, and exactly the same sort of direction, there's been no change, you're thinking it must be a translation because translation is the transformation that does not change, uh, turn the shape or make it bigger or anything like that. So it's a translation for one mark for stating that. And the other mark you get for saying by what vector. So you would say by vector and you'd have to state the vector. Two ways to do this. Um, you could use your tracing paper. Now we're starting is of shape C to D. So you could put your tracing paper over shape C. You could trace it out. As follows. And you would move it. So it's one place to the right, two place to the right, three place, four place, five place, and six places to the right. So therefore it would be by vector 6 on top and then it's going up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it's by vector 7 there, by vector 6, 7. Alternatively, without the tracing paper, all you'd have to do is pick a corner and count how far across, uh, uh, right or left, and how far up or down that corner gets to get to that corner. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hence six, seven. And there we go, that would get you your second mark. Okay, let's have a go at another one. So, this time, how would we describe the transformation of shape D to C? So it's very important to realize which one is the object and which one is the image. So in this case, we've swapped the roles and this one here is the image. So we could use the tracing paper or we could just count. So I might just count from that corner to that corner. And we're going one, two, three, four, five, six left. So it's going to be a translation for one mark by negative six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then one, two, three, four, five. Five, six, seven, seven down, negative seven. Simple as that. Again, you could have used your tracing paper um, and you could have drawn this out. I'll do it very quickly, not with lines, maybe just to do it a bit quicker for you, like that. And what you could have done is you could just check. So we're going one, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three four, five, six, and seven. Okay, so it is uh, as follows. Okay, so one exam question for you. Pause the video, have a go, and check you can understand it. I'll go through it in five seconds. Okay, so we are describing fully the trans a single transformation that maps triangle A onto triangle B. So from A onto B. Now, because they're both the same way up and they're the same size, I'm thinking it's a translation. So that would get you one mark. Now, the second mark is to describe it. So what by what vector? So I would say by vector, and I would describe it. Now, let me just point out a classic mistake here, a classic mistake that students might be tempted to do. They wouldn't read the question carefully and they just go from B to A. So they'd say it's by vector 1, 2, 2 across and 1, 2, 3, 4 up. They'd say by vector 2, 4. It's from A to B and the examiner has purposefully put A over here in almost to trick you into thinking to go from B to A as we read right to left and we go that way. But it's from A to B. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to pick a corner here and it's 1, 2 to the left. So it's by vector negative 2 and then 1, 2 and it's 1, 2, 3, 4 down negative 4. So to be absolutely careful to avoid that mistake, we're going from A, which is the object, to B, which is the image there. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you found that video useful.